So, right, good morning, TIs in the UK, around the world, and intelligence services. UK intelligence services, West Midlands Police Force, Coventry Police Force, and the council authorities and mental health workers all over the world. Yeah, yeah, you have to wake up, stop trying to dumb down people, yeah, stop trying to belittle people, yeah, who are warning you, yeah, there's major crimes going on in your sectors, which starts, starts from students, starts from university kids, yeah, and the uh, passed on to inexperienced mental health workers and corrupted mental health workers who are aiding and abetted, yeah, where mental health unit workers do this, aiding and abetted by the local area they're living and where the mental health unit is, yeah, there's a big gang in Walsgrave, in Warwickin, yeah, in Coventry, linked to the Dorman Association, linked to the elders, the senior community leaders who think they should be respected, yeah, but have pulled a wall over the eyes of many unsuspecting families in Coventry for decades and generations who have stitched loads of people up into mental health by calling social workers and trying to label people, yeah, trying to say they've got mental illnesses and they're concerned and worried about them and that uh, these people should be put into hospital, yeah, so that's what the phone calling system's about in social services, linked to the old Dorman Association and the community leaders, yeah, who encourage and get people to join their gang, yeah, to inform, shop on anyone they don't like or trying to ruin their far more statistical drugs, misdiagnosing and overdosing people, yeah? And these Dorman Association, they know a lot of Coventry University Hospital workers, they know a lot of social workers, and they know a lot of mental health administrators, yeah? And that includes the Bad Green Boys, who've stitched loads of people up, stitched Ian Harden up, yeah? And his trigger and destroyed his family, Beijing and Co. Yeah, linked to the Billy Molson, who uses loads of Coventry people, yeah, to make phone calls for him when he's got it in for his rivals and trying to stitch and destroy my family because he knows, knows my brother like a new Beijing, like a new fat Jason, yeah, and like a, like a new Rob Bell and fuck loads of people over them, Bow Green and Potter's Green. Yeah, so that's who P B Billy Morrison is and he's trying to cover up his tracks using people in Warsgrave, in Bow Green, in Potter's Green and the Dorman Association, yeah, to make phone calls to social workers on his behalf off, trying to destroy my mother, yeah, now think how many people that he can use, yeah, well, all the lonely housewives out there, yeah, all the local girls who look up to him, yeah, yeah, the half care workers, don't forget he married the nurse as well, yeah, yeah. and all the names I've given, Coventry Police Force, yeah, investigate them, they're all linked together, they're friends, associates, they go to family holidays, yeah, they go to weddings, they go to funerals together, they're drinking the pubs, they go to CCFC, yeah, Football, football fans network together on the terraces of Coventry. Yeah, in the, in, yeah, in, in, in the pubs and the Hollyet. Yeah, that's why Dave Leverage is linked to my SES managers, linked to all my SES people. Def, they, Marvin Davies used to go to school with him. Yeah, probably play, go, gone to the gym, played rugby with him. Yeah, could have looked with him. Yeah, along with Steve Blaney. Yeah, and all, and all the elders at SES are older than me, all the older drivers. Yeah, all the taxi drivers, the firemen, doorman gang who worked in there. Yeah, and they know. Yeah, all my associates. Yeah, from the from people who work, old associates who work in stru construction. It's all over Coventry. It's the worst kept secret. Yeah, that's been exposed. Yeah, Coventry CID, Coventry Police, Coventry Firemen, Coventry Council workers. Yeah, conspiring together, trying to register me and my, my brother. So, covert team leader, your sector workers. Yeah. Yeah, your cover operators are giving the secrets away. I'm not going to be short term or long term. No more mother, no more brother. Yeah, get your cover operators to snap out of it. Stop your, stop your cover operators doing MK Ultra Crunching Pole, doing shifts here and trying to wind up. Yeah, any member of my family all day long doing psychoanalysis, subliminal messaging. Yeah, and so where we come to telling the sectors and uh, they're getting, his e emails are being sent. Yeah. Over the last few months or years, to the UK, to the around the UK, to MPs, to sector and, and to and and to uh, investigating organisations exposing this system. There's loads of TIs in the UK. Yeah, there's a there's a TI awareness day outside BBC Studios on August the 29th of yeah 2021, and it's the same day every year. Not sure what day it might fall on Sunday. Just this weekend, so the day could be could be changed. Yeah, but keep an eye out for updates. Yeah, target the individual awareness day 
which goes on synchronized worldwide yeah in different different locations around the world exposing this to mainstream media to governments and to sector workers and i'm exposing it to conscious sector workers yeah i have exposed your gang yeah but older doormen the older fraudsters people older than, than me yeah and then they pass their share information on giving inside information on what social workers and mental health administrators do yeah on all the protocols when they get those phone calls for local people who are concerned or worried about one yeah that's a secret yeah that the commentary doormen commentary nhs nurses yeah and commentary sector workers have told commentary people yeah and told them yeah to make phone calls or anyone they don't like and social services have to act yeah yeah that's the inside information commentary city the whole city has got yeah and they've done a big massive campaign trying to do that daily on me my mother and my brother yeah trying to get social social workers to listen to the Coventry people, yeah? It's how broken Dave Leverage is, how broken Billy Morrison is, how broken the rest of their gang is, their broken dormant association, their wedding partners, their wedding guests, how big the bride and groom is, and yeah, how, yeah, how gutted they are, yeah? And how gutted their mental health administrators are. Yeah, and Coventry sector workers, how can I identify you people who work in mental health? Yeah, yeah, the people who work in the NHS, who hang around with all these corrupted racketeering wrongans, war friends of theirs, yeah, who they respect, even though, yeah, they've, 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 they've been racketeered all their lives, yeah, not done an honest, decent, hard day's work, yeah, and that's the people making phone calls to social services, yeah, and that's why I've named their fucking age, that's why I'm naming the phone callers, exposing the system, so commentary police have to act, yeah, and no, it's a daily conspiracy, no, it's a daily entrapment, and let's destroy the careers of any Conscious City Council establishment worker, yeah, whether they work in the police, work in the healthcare, work in the NHS, or work in the Swans of Dogs Association, yeah, I'm making sure they can't get assessments, yeah, 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 it's illegal assessments, it's illegal hidden case studies, legal research, and it's legal surveillance monitoring, so I'm making sure the sector workers ain't got a leg to stand on, they can't use nothing from a private detective, from a covert operator and a covert abuser linked to Coventry Police, linked to Coventry CID. Yeah, and the people, social workers, the people who deserve long-term imprisonment, yeah, is, the, is your people who are trying to use your system, trying to destroy people's lives. Yeah, so make sure your phone callers, their names are given to the police force. Yeah, make sure your statement makers, witness makers, to anything Coventry CID have done. Yeah, give it. Yeah, to investigate police officers, to arrest these Coventry people. Yeah, and investigate their minis. Investigate every single penny where they have got it from. Yeah, where they've got their properties from and they've funded their lifestyles from. Yeah, that's what you've got to do, Coventry Social Services and Coventry Police. Yeah, do that to the gang I have exposed. Yeah, and you have your field day. Yeah, soccer continues. Everybody digest it all. Soccer analyse it all. Oh, the last thing, yeah, sorry. EastEnders. Yeah, EastEnders yeah, are showing... Yeah, for the last for the last month, they've showed shown a mental health scenario. Yeah, now people watching this with interest. Yeah, what you're watching EastEnders. Yeah, the case about the Jamaican family where the where w one of their sons. Yeah, even though it's fictional. Yeah, I'm just giving you a scenario. Yeah, he's going through mental health and apparently he's got schizophrenia and he's hearing voices. Yeah, if you yeah, so if if you, if you can picture the scenario of EastEnders, yeah, film crew, yeah, F uh, yeah, yeah, Ch trying to tell a story about schizophrenia, yeah, this is how gang stalking works, it's how the COVID abusers work, yeah, UK intelligence services, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, they surround the house with thermal infrared ultrasound X ray, X ray, see through wall technology, yeah, technology that the police, the fire service, the mental health, yeah, sectors know about yeah and everyone in Coventry I have exposed knows about yeah yeah so instead of a normal TV film cameraman yeah they use the thermo the yeah the see for wall technology that looks through buildings and can can spot the people inside the building yeah if they know what the target looks like what the build is yeah and just want to concentrate on the target yeah they just home in on that target yeah and uh, with the technology they've got, no one else around the target can hear anything, yeah? And they can play, yeah, mental mind games with the target, trying to drive them insane 
and give a man-made schizophrenia. Yeah, so that's a snore I go on in EastEnders. Yeah? A man-made schizophrenia. Yeah? Loads of UK people know about it. Yeah, especially the retired people. Yeah, retired police officers, retired firemen, retired armed forces. Yeah, retired Navy. Yeah, retired private detectives. Yeah, and with some, a lot of retired mental health administrators. Psychiatrists. Yeah, psychologist. You know about Operation Paperclip and know about Dr. Ewan Cameron's CIA FBI experiments. Yeah, and these Coventry cover operators are experimenting every day. Yeah, thinking. Yeah, that they can do these experiments where they try and give people man made schizophrenia. Yeah, and try and get people stressed out, angry, arguing with people. Yeah, that's why these cover operators are here. And that's why I have exposed them. Yeah, they've got historical cases yeah, that, that they have done to loads of Coventry people, loads of Coventry families. Yeah, and they, who they have destroyed. Yeah, yeah, they, they have a local grapevine, social media, telling lies. Yeah, which is part of the gang stalking aspect, part of the stitch up and frame up, part of the psyops in put in the local area by locals, by, pub, by people in local pubs to tell stories about the target. At the tar about the target has got mental illnesses, so to get everyone gossiping, and then to get aid and abet the social services sectors mm -hmm. by getting loads of people participating to make phone calls. Yeah, about the target. Yeah, again in East Enders, you'll see a scene where the family is is, is not in on it. Yeah, so this is this is this is it means it's it's fictional. Yeah, so it's TV. Yeah, but I'm tr trying to give an example, a scenario of a gang stalking. Yeah, so where the family's in the pub talking about the mental health, about the so-called character who's had a breakdown and suffering from schizophrenia. Yeah, the locals are in the pub, his family, yeah, talking about him, yeah, wondering what's wrong with him. Yeah, and so if you just think, people, of a scenario where you get loads of uh, compulsive lying locals yeah, you go, yeah, you, you, you've got social media following, yeah, on the internet, yeah, or think the community leaders and go to the local pubs, yeah, and local warehouses, yeah, intending just to tell stories, yeah, yeah, tell lies and hope it escalates, yeah, around the city, yeah, this is what they do, yeah, the CCFC hooligan boys, the working warehouses, the doorman association and the local publicans and their local NHS sector workers yeah and their families and friends yeah we're going to the local area telling stories yeah and this is what they've done on me my mother and my brother yeah and that's why we don't, we don't associate with nobody yeah that's why commentary police yeah yeah we'll have to believe what i'm saying yeah because i've cut everyone off yeah yeah for many many years since everything was going on scs yeah yeah old imposters old informers yeah like lee Lee Thomas come and work to SES, trying to warm me up. Yeah, so that's ever so. So that's why I know some of the boys from Wobley, Camden are, are involved. Yeah, Lee Thomas, Wayne Thomas. Yeah, who are roofers, who work in construction. Yeah, yeah, who drive, yeah, yeah, whose friend Willow works in roofing. Yeah, they're all linked, to, you know what I mean, to, to attic work. They sneak, they hate to sneaking about above people's houses. Yeah, and uh, fixing it all up. Yeah, and who are they linked to? Yeah, they're linked to Glenn McFall, CCFC boys. Who's Glenn McFall linked to? Yeah, Roger Germain. Who's Roger Germain linked to? Can't, yeah, Cannon Castle School boys. Who's Cannon? Who's, who's the old, old school Cannon Castle School boys? Some of the Dormer Association, the Billy Morrisons, then the Fiveys, the Kieran Fiveys. Yeah, and then yeah, and then yeah, yeah. That, that was a that was a boys' school. So uh, some of these, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, obviously they like the same sex. Yeah, so that's why they're trying to. Yeah, they, 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 they've got no objections on sitting on Big Brother on Overton Covert duty, stalking men. Yeah, because the sex cases turn disgusting. Yeah, doing that to rivals to enemies. Yeah, and then we will move on to the next school, Conan Wiseman. Yeah, the Glen McFall. Yeah, where a lot of the phone callers linked to Zinna Logan. Made for, yeah, after I used to go to school for school. Yeah, the Yiddos. Yeah, Gas Cohen. Yeah, Glen McFall's friend, Zina's friend, the Dawn Association's friend. Yeah, Little Raph. Yeah, Gaz Archibald. They apparently put a video of me on holiday in Spain with a woman. Yeah, so he's a dirty voyeur, dirty spoyer, dirty covert abuser, dirty gang stalker. 
Patney, yeah, Gaz Archibald, has put me having sex, yeah, via using the thermal infrared ultrasound x-ray, this Patney's put on the internet, yeah, TIs, yeah, and this is going back 11 years ago on my 14th, on my, on my, 10 years ago on my 14th birthday, yeah, so that's why, Coventry Police Force, you have to address these Coventry people, yeah, and all the links to the healthcare workers, to social services, yeah, because they're disgusting, yeah, and this is the gang that destroyed loads of the rivals, yeah, Ian Harden and Ellis Trigger was fucked up by the Fox of Tavern boys. Fucked up. Yeah? And this gang owes Ian Harden millions. Yeah? So come to police. You're going to have to protect the Fox of Tavern boys. Yeah? Because it's gone all over the world. Yeah? Gaz Archibald. Yeah? You know. Yeah? Mr. Gaz Cohen. Yeah? Two. Yeah? Corey Hannon stealing internet betting off me. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, to the broken Nev, Nev and Kieran. Yeah, stuck in the Empire Nightclub. To broken Billy Morrison appearing out in the woodwork. Obviously, yeah. Fucking trying to talk to me down the back of Stone, Stone River. How did you know I was going there? Yeah, and then trying, trying to, to approach my mother and spotted me around fucking Iceland. So that's why I know this gang is involved in gang stalking. And they're never going to live it down. Yeah, they are serious crimes against humanity. Yeah, you, yeah you've broken every street fucking code. Yeah. And, and, and uh, yeah, and because they think they're criminals, yeah, yeah, worldwide criminals have to know who they are, yeah, that's the country CCFC boys, yeah, of the, that's why I'm giving all the names away, so everyone can Google them, yeah, everyone can round up who they are, everyone can find out who they are, yeah, and tell country police to make sure they get fucking arrested. And thrown in prison for fucking lifetime. Yeah? Because they've destroyed loads of people in fucking Coventry. The psychological fucking warfare. Yeah? Then there's Lyndon Logan. Yeah? Armed Forces boy. Marvin Davis, Steve Blaney. Carl Keeble. Navy boy. You've linked to the Dorman Association. Some of them doormen as well. Yeah? They've done it all before. Done it all over the Neaton. Done it all over Bedworth. Done it all over Rugby. Done it all over Birmingham. Yeah? Done it all over the West Midlands. This is a gang. They work with mental health administrators. Yeah, trying to give people mental illnesses. Yeah, then they have a big gang of local people. Yeah, a network of social media people. Yeah, a network of people they've known all their lives. Yeah, historical cases. Yeah, whoever worked in clubs and pubs all over the West Midlands, putting on the raving promotions. Yeah, promoting drug dealing, promoting fucking rave music. Yeah, for decades and generations. Yeah, and then making, yeah, and then making up the gangsters running around in football hooligans. Broken Tony Chapman, Ryan Lewis, and the Young Smonkers, yeah, linked to CCFC boys. Your youngsters, yeah, in Coventry, teenagers, 20 year olds, 30 year olds, yeah, listen to what I'm fucking saying. Do not trust your fucking elders. Linked to Amnesia House, linked to Banging Tunes, New Age Productions, linked to the Dominant Association, yeah, and linked to the Hollyhead, and linked to Finbars, yeah, linked to the fucking Devon, linked to the Boxing Club, club linked to the Rose and Crown, yeah. Yeah, in 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 in, in Wiking, where their, where their gang is watching the boy Rose and Crown. Yeah, from the flats above the Kentucky, and from the fucking garage where Four Eyes garages. Yeah, another police informer to his house across the road. Yeah, where Marvin Davis sneaks around the back of St Michael's. Yeah, Grave uh, Church on Warsgrave Road. Yeah, these are bona fide police informers and racketeering fucking degenerates. Who've done those historical crimes in Coventry against the enemies, their rivals, foes, yeah, and the old associates for money and for a lifestyle of plastic gangster wannabes, yeah, broken fucking wannabe coke dealers, weed dealers, fucking fraudsters, yeah, Bro in the white collar criminal fucking gang is protected by Leslie Moore, Sergeant Horton, Sergeant Kirby, and their broken C C C R D, yes, C R A D C R Condola, D C R McKenzie, D C R Tarby. Old school CID who are protected by old school police officers, yeah? PC Keith Barnes, yeah? PC Keith, Fat Terry, yeah? And uh, Roger Essex on Board Hill, yeah? This white collar criminal, this local gang, yeah? I ain't being racist, yeah? Got nothing against white people, nothing against any other people, yeah? Any other people. From all different cultures, all different colours, yeah, or whatever sex, or whatever sex they're into, yeah, activity they're into, yeah, got nothing against LGBT, yeah, but when it comes to doing that to my mother, 
to my brother. Yeah, yeah, especially to a pension of 72. Yeah, I want the whole fucking town arrested. Yeah, till until everyone flush out these degenerates, these rapists. Yeah, it was sabot- yeah, trying to destroy my mother. Yeah, and that's why, hey, that's why I got no respect for them. That's why I'm fucking naming them. Yeah, you are disgusting, Mr. Morrison, you Darren Gillespie. Yeah, what you've done to those black people, you showed your true colours. Yeah, and I'm because you're fraudsters. Yeah. Yeah, everyone knows, everyone needs to understand it all. Everyone needs to know who you are. Yeah, same as the Dorman Association. And same as all the boys and girls who worked at SES. Yeah, none of them are trustworthy. Yeah, for, yeah, this, yeah, look what a state we live on. Yeah, we live on the same estate as the doorman. That's Billy Morrison. Yeah, 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 you're Kathy Watson, the Dave Watsons. Yeah, the admin staff at SES. Yeah, you're Sylvia Walsh. Can't be trusted. Yeah, because they are in with the doorman gang. Yeah, that's why they're trying to monopolise warehouses and get their people, the admin staff and 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 and, pe- and their boys and girls into warehouses, yeah, to make them supervisors, to make them managers, yeah, so they can do the cabal, yeah, they think they're cabal, yeah, because these idiots have been to America, been to Canada, all over America, check the history out of Carl Keeble, Billy Morrison, Zina Logan, Lyndon Logan, Zina's father, yeah, Richard, Richard Sermon, Glenn McFall, yeah, who else? Russell Evans, yeah, all the idiots have been to America, yeah, for the last 10, 15 years, yeah, so TRs in America have connected all, connected them all together, yeah, the Dorman Association, the fraudsters, the broken plastic fucking rock criminals, they've been back and forth to America, yeah, yeah to, to Canada and to the and to, and to UK, practicing and getting to learn, drafting in, yeah, equipment, all new strategies, techniques, new information, and how they escalate the gang stalking, the, the big brother, MK Ultra Country Pole, psychological warfare games, yeah, all over the world, yeah, and, and that's what the country boys and girls have got about, yeah, they've, they've done gang stalking, not only in the UK, they've done it in Spain, done it in Germany, yeah, done it in Romania, done it in Poland, yeah, they've done it in, 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 in America, Australia, Canada, yeah, yeah, all they've got to do, Interpol, Europol, check out, yeah, yeah, all the boys and girls activities in Coventry and around the world, yeah, for the last 20, 30 years, yeah, especially on the ones that I have exposed, yeah, it's not hard, is it, to get to passport control and find out where these people have been going, yeah, all their lives, back and forth, back and forth around the world, yeah, Li- living the high life, living the jet, jet setting life, yeah, I'm a, yeah and, and Coventry people, Coventry Council, yeah, I'm only doing this because, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, because your COVID team, your local people, are illegally in criminal practicing. Yeah, for in the name of Miss of Revenge. Doing it all for Patrick Hoban. Doing it all for Miss Hoban, who all lived in Wyking. Yeah, where I used to live. And that's where the gang stalking started. Yeah, so everybody, digest it all, psychoanalyze it all. And uh, UK, UK establishment, West Midlands Police Force. Yeah, and NHS England. And mental health sector workers all over the UK do not trust anyone. Yeah, it comes it, it comes out of Coventry wanting to join your organisations. Yeah, 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 they're a bunch of racketeering, bunch of thieves. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that's the, the that, and that's the council workers, the police, the police, and the mental health sector workers. They're all fraudsters. Yeah, they've been found out. Yeah, and they've been getting away with it since the eighties, nineties, and two thousands. Misdiagnosing people in family courts of protection. Yeah, and then destroying people. Yeah, via forced, yeah, drugs, medication, yeah, and brain damage on. Yeah, that's why, yeah, you can see straight for all. Yeah, they're there to brain damage people, they're there to hurt people, they're there to destroy people. So the tables have to be reversed on them. Yeah, they have to be destroyed and everything taken off them of what they have earned for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. So, West Midlands Police Force, Coventry Police, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Start off with the juniors, yeah? Start off with the people who you know, yeah? So that, that means go to social services, yeah? And raid them, yeah? And get a list of all their phone, phone callers. He's made phone calls on me, on my mother, down, down Village Street, 
Yeah, and then investigate the, and investigate the people, investigate the families, investigate the connections, see what they do. Yeah, see what, see how the lifestyle is. Yeah, and they think, uh, yeah, and they think they're living the life of life of Riley. Yeah, these these people involved in making phone calls about me. Yeah, and involved in the stitch up and frame up attempts. Yeah, the essential services trying to get court orders, but the only way they can get it is by having a list of phone callers and having a list of of, of statement makers and witnesses. Without that. They can't get a court order. Yeah? So, you understand the system now, Coventry people. TRs in the UK. Yeah? That system has to be destroyed. Yeah? The social services system and the family courts of protection system. The court order system. Yeah? Because, uh, because they've modified it and massive minded it all to their advantage. Yeah? And using it to destroy people. Everybody have a good day. Everyone out.